time, YouTube, it's your boy TV. As you guys can see, we're back with another video, man. Yo, if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, because I'm about to show you guys the best jump shot in NBA 2K23. You feel me? So if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, and wait. Alright, y'all. So if you guys haven't known already, the main thing that people look for in their jump shot in NBA 2K23 is to find a shot attribute. The main thing that's been going around all over Twitter, all over YouTube, is that what shot attribute has the A plus around everything? A, 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 the little green thing that pops up when you're creating your jump shot. People want to go for that. Now, I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't go for that, right? Because I've tested out many of these other jump shots that have the A plus, all A's all around the court, and you guys are going to run into the same problems I have. I don't, know if it, I don't know if you guys have been experiencing it, but for me personally, I've been, I've been getting bounce backs. I've been getting the shot the shot speed don't feel the same all around the court and different angles and, and different stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Wayne tweeted out that your shot speed changes when a defender is closer to you, right? Now, me personally, as you guys can see, my shot speed doesn't change no matter where I'm at around the court, no matter what angle I'm at. Look, as you guys see, watch this. Big greens, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter where I am around the court, it don't matter what defender is guarding me, it feels smooth and it feels, I don't. I, I rarely get bounce backs, everything, watch this. Big greens, you feel me? It don't matter who's near me, none of that, you know what I'm saying? And also, not even just my jump shot, but my shooting badges as well, that helps me green like this consistently and um, with my jump shot. So if you guys don't know, big shout out to NBA 2K Labs. 2K Labs, is, watch this, hold on. Big greens, you feel me? Every year they create a website where they have jump shots that you guys can test out on there, where it tests out a green window. So if you guys don't know what a green window is, it basically means that, yo, certain green windows in 2K are larger than others, which means that you can get a, a, a green even if you time it a little bit early and even if you time it a little bit late those are the green windows so all those shot attribute stuff really doesn't matter so throw the shot attribute stuff out the window because that really doesn't matter when it comes down to your green window my jump shot that i'm about to show you today the green window is high it's like 75 percent which is one of the highest green windows in nba 2k23 before we get into the video again if you guys haven't already make sure you guys hit that like button make sure you guys subscribe takes 30 seconds out of your time to do that. Not even that, like 10 seconds, bro. Make sure you guys hit the like button, support a brother out. All right, let's get into the video. All right, y'all, so as you guys can see, this is my jump shot right here. This is the release that I currently use. My release height is a B minus. My immunity is an A plus. My release speed is an A plus. And my timing impact is a C. Now, like I said before, y'all, it seemed like release height and timing impact matter. Again, it's all about personal choice and how you time your release, you know what I'm saying? If you guys want an all A plus jump shot, this right here, or an all A jump shot, this is an all A jump shot right here. And again, like I said before previously, you will get tons of bounce backs and shit like that, and it doesn't feel as smooth as release. Even though it looks nice that you get all A plus and all A timing like that, when you get on the court, it feels a million times different, okay? So this is my release right here. Release height B minus, immunity A plus, release speed A plus, and time of impact C. Um, it goes for a height under 6'5. I am currently 6'4, so you guys can get it. And either an 82 or your three point has to be higher than 82, which is majority of us guard builds. So yeah, you guys know how that goes down. All right. Now, that being said, <clears throat> this is my jump shot that I'm using for NBA 2K23. My jump shot is. Derrick Rose, Damian Lillard, and Luka Doncic. Big shout out to NBA 2K Labs. As you guys can see, I have Damian Lillard at 26%. Luka Doncic at 74%. My release speed being the maximum. Uh, NBA 2K Labs gave me this. So I want to do a big shout out to NBA 2K Labs. If you guys want all releases, care about your shot attributes, they got it right there. You can go to NBA2KLabs.com or go to their Twitter. That's usually who I get my stuff from. Before I played NBA 2K23, I told you guys that, yo, the best jump shot that I felt when I was playing blacktop was Derrick Rose. So for me to have a Derrick Rose base doesn't really seem surprising to me because Derrick Rose jump shot felt the smoothest. I didn't get any bounce backs on a regular base. I didn't get anything that was like felt different speeds because like I said, some of these jump shots, they feel like a different speed. You know what I'm saying? When... When you're on certain certain around uh, certain angles around the court, this jump shot is probably the best all around because it doesn't matter where you are at the court, all the jump shot feels the same. Compared to other jump shots, feel completely different, completely different. So this is my release right here. You know what you guys think in the comment section? Since we're already like halfway through the video, if you guys haven't already, 
Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It, it takes two buttons, bro. Like, I really greatly appreciate it. I'm really grinding this year. I'm trying to get on my 600K grind, and I'm trying to stay in the community this year. So if you guys would drop a like and a sub, I would greatly appreciate it. Seriously. I should have 5,000 likes on this video. All right. These are my current badges. Now, I know a lot of people, y'all don't like Corner Specialist. Y'all feel like it's not needed. Y'all feel like a lot of these stuff is not needed. Your badges just really just works with what you like and what you got. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to go ahead and re rearrange mine real quick, okay? Limitless range, gold, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. I'm going to show you guys the best shooting badges to get. Dead Eye this year um, isn't really that necessary. Uh, guard Up is is best. It's, it's better than Dead Eye, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? And it's less of an attribute point. But it's basically closed out, receives less of a penalty from a shot contest. Compared to increases the ability to make jump shots when defenders fail to properly contest, all right? So that's what I would go for. Crabs, you guys know what crabs are, where you're in front of the defender. I would go for blinders. But again, I don't think that's a badge that's really that necessary. But if you guys want to, you can really just do half and half. Volume shooter is a great badge to me. I never have a problem with it. A lot of people like to complain about volume shooter. But I think volume shooter is great. You don't really need clutch shooter when it comes on to park. The reason why that was on before was because um, I was in my career trying to get my my career attributes and stuff like that. So that's why I had it on. The best badges that I would really have would probably be like guard up or catch and shoot. But, you know, it really just depends on your badge points. Right now, I, ha I do not have all my badges currently. So I will be putting my guard up on gold. But other than that, then I would probably go for something like catch and shoot or blinders. I'm not really going for dead eye this year. So that's just my opinion. Let me know how you guys feel about your personal badges. Um, if you guys would like to look through my playmaking badges, you guys can as well. Bailout is a badge that you need to have, all right? I tell this to everybody, make sure you guys have bailout on, all right? Um, I will throw my vice grip on silver and throw needle threader on silver. Probably balance that out. Defensive badges, again, that can always be worked on. Menace is a, is a main badge that you guys need. Ball pass, you might need this as well for the deck sing and people who like to run around off ball, you know what I'm saying? Post lockdown is something that I would have since, you know, a lot of these post hookers are now starting to come into play. Chase down artists doesn't really work as a guard. And then I would throw probably off ball best, off ball pest on Hall of Fame as of now. So this is the badge that I would probably have for right now. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Again, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Hall of Fame Green Machine is needed. Gold Limitless Range is needed. You know what I'm saying? But again, in that clip that I showed you guys, none of those badges were present. So imagine when all these badges are activated, except for Green Machine, because Green Machine was present. All right? Let me know what you guys think in the video down below. Again, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We're on a 600K grind. I'm live on Twitch every day. Make sure you guys add my uh, new PSN, the CEO Gucci. You feel me? If you can't add me, you can join my park because I always have my park available. I always want to hoop with you guys. Or, you know what I'm saying? If you guys want to come get dropped off, come get dropped off. My new PSN is the CEO Gucci. You feel me? Make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Comment, subscribe. Let's try to get 5,000 likes. And let's try to blow this video up. I appreciate everybody's love and support. It's your boy, Noah TV. I'm out. Love y'all. Game.